Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be comparing what elite chess runs look like versus expeditions. When it comes to good loot, expertise bumps, gold, what do you need to be doing? And I've actually had this specific video made because I've had a lot of comments recently on my channel talking about elite chess runs, and if we're still running them, why would they ever want to come back to this game? So you can see here with the first comment actually from Sammy, he said, elite chess rotations are still a thing. I guess I'll be looking for another game to play. I said, why would they ever take elite chess runs out of the game? There are plenty of other options for people who don't want to participate in them. And I haven't done an elite chess run besides Brimstone in a few months. And that's because they made Brimstone so special with Scarabs being a possible drop and with a lot of different glyphs as well being possible drops and the enemies around these areas having good best in slot gear drops as well. So if we take a look at the next comment he responded with, people don't do it because it's the only option. People do it when it's the most efficient. To see you doing it after all the changes in the game makes me think it's still very much a thing you need to do if you want to be competitive. I said I would argue that running regular Genesis on repeat is probably faster. So this is just one example of something that is probably better than those elite chest runs and I wanted to kind of test it myself today as I want people to realize that there are many options to getting better loot, better gear, and much higher expertise bumps. So when it comes to expertise, when it comes to loot, when it comes to gear, which is the best? Obviously, we're going to start off by saying M10 gold runs are the best. If you look at this graph here, people are running M10 gold world records in under nine minutes with Garden of Genesis. You see 12 minutes, 37 seconds with Dynasty Shipyard, and then 13 minutes, Lazarus Instrumentality. These are M10 gold runs that's going to get you 6,000 umbral shards. It's going to get you tons of great in-slot or best in-slot gear when it comes to you know buying on pickups. It's also going to get you some buying on equips that can be sold for quite a bit of money. So obviously the best and best and best is going to be the M10 gold world record run paces of 10 minute, you know, Genesis runs. That's kind of obvious. So I wanted to get that out of the way. But when it comes to regular players that are maybe at like 520, 550 gear score, still trying to get their expertise bumps or people that have just came back to the game, fresh level 60s, what is best, elite chess runs or Genesis? In my opinion here is kind of whatever you want to do. I know that's kind of a cliche thing to say, but realistically, if you've done chess runs, you know you can get bumps fairly easily there. There's also decent drops from some of the mobs out there in Merc Guard and some of those basic zones. But when it comes to elite chess runs, typically I would stay doing elite chess runs in Brimstone. You're going to have the Golden Scarabs as a potential drop. You're going to have a lot of different, you know, if we look at some of these bosses, which we made a video about the other day, a lot of best in slot gear can be dropped from some of these bosses that you're doing elite chess runs by. And then also remember that you can also get these glyphs and glyphs are selling for a lot of money right now, depending on what glyph you get, whether it's a night glyph, shadow glyph, uh, strength glyph, which I believe is what you get here in Heliopolis where we're at right now farming. So there's a lot of money to be made in Brimstone Elite chest runs, but when it comes to Merc Guard and you know, Shattered Mountain in general, I typically don't want to go up there and do those Elite chest runs anymore. I'm, I'm kind of past that stage. And I want to say, you know, if you are a new fresh level 60, I've actually tested it many, many times, and I've gotten word from many others as well. Doing a regular Genesis run weekly, like doing them nonstop, I'm saying, is better than chest runs. But if you want to do chest runs, it's still perfectly viable to run up there, do those chest runs, farm weapon XP, and then remember, with these chest runs in Merc Guard, you're going to be able to basically AFK, run in a big Zerg, watch Netflix, do whatever you want to do, chat with friends, and kind of ignore the game and loot stuff and still get those expertise bumps, still get the good, uh, good loot, good gear. And I think that's something that people need to take in consideration because because with Genesis, you're going to have that kind of high priority of, you know, you have to be there. You have to be active playing when there's only five of you in a dungeon. If you're not playing very accurately or very well, definitely if you're lower gear score or fresh level 60, good luck. I mean, it's going to be a rough run. So that's something that we have taken into consideration, I feel like, or, you know, AGS has taken into consideration, is the better routes are going to take more concentration but the less, you know, less high, I guess, gear, gold, and expertise bump route is going to give you, uh, you know, a chance to kind of AFK through it. So with the elite chest runs, running 30 strong, you don't have to do much effort, but you are not going to get as much when it comes to expertise bumps, gold, XP, and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to Genesis, it's going to be much higher kind of concentration, but you're going to get higher, you know, loot, better gear, more gold, and probably as well, like I said, you're going to get more expertise bumps. So it's that same thing that happens in pretty much any game you play. There's always going to be a best. There's always going to be a little, little bit less of a best, but it's going to be, you know, less concentration. I think that's something that 
is is kind of in every MMO if I'm if I'm not wrong there. So let me know. You know, I've I've played RuneScape, of course. I've played some of these other old MMOs, and that's exactly the same route they take. Is you know the the better stuff's going to take some effort. The worst stuff, you know, level wise or XP wise or gear wise or gold wise, is going to take less effort, but it's still viable. And I think that's something to note here. So if you see people running elite chest runs, it's not a necessarily bad thing to do. But it's personally, to me, I would continue to run Brimstone Sands elite chest runs and dungeons, Genesis dungeons, Lazarus dungeons on regular. Keep going and grinding that gear score, grinding that expertise. And I think, you know, this comment just made me think about this and I wanted to make sure my thought process was kind of the same as all of you. And based on the comment section after one hour of screenshotting, it looked like you guys kind of agreed with my thoughts on the elite chess runs, uh, really kind of compared to expedition. So if you guys have any questions, comments, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. We do stream on Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. If you have any questions, if you're a new player, maybe you're a fresh level 60 looking for expertise bumps or anything, I will try to help you out. I think these, like I said, Brimstone Sands, the Elite Chest Runs, if you're going to do them, this is the place to be. So focus on getting that main story to a place where you can come up here, start getting a chance at better gear, better loot, and there's a ton of named item drops from Elite Chest Runs in Brimstone compared to Shattered Mountain. And it's just crazy to me that you are going to see people complaining about those Elite Chest Runs while there's other tons of others actually viable options. So definitely take advantage of all the different options in New World. Find out which one best suits you. And when you're going to do specific ones, like sometimes I'll do elite chest runs when expeditions are obviously the better option. Or sometimes I'll do expeditions when obviously elite chest run in Brimstone might be the better option. I've skipped an elite chest run in Brimstone since the launch already. That's not a great thing for me as I love to do elite chest runs and get those, you know, huge gear score bumps when it comes to the great sword. I finally got it to 600, of course, but you know, it's just some of these things uh, we just need to take into consideration that things that take lower concentration are going to get you less. When things take higher concentration, they're typically going to get you more. And that's that's the greatest way to really make an MMO, in my opinion. So I just wanted to shout this out today. Let me know, like I said, in the comments, what your guys' thoughts on this. I know I'm kind of just rambling at this point, but it was just one of those things where I had to make it a video on this very, very quickly. And I actually tested out, like I said, Genesis in the past, and I've asked a lot of people about it. Genesis is going to get you those expertise bumps very, very quickly. And if you're doing a world record run, you got to remember, people are doing these in eight minutes on M10 gold. So if you're doing a regular run, you should be able to pump these out in 20 minutes, get these bumps very, very quickly. And it's going to be a better way than the boring, you know, elite chest run following the Zerg, if that's boring to you. So just remember, there's other options in the game, like always. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you are interested in more videos, make sure, like I said previously, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.